All right, right, welcome back everybody to YouTube channel BTC TV and we continue to do videos about blockchain industries and about different projects in this industry. Today I'm happy to present to you a project with the name is CoinBarp. Right now on the line with me is CEO of this project uh, named Peter Wood. Peter, thanks for coming to our show. No problem, thanks very much for having me Max, I really appreciate it. Thanks. And first question is, right now I'm in your website. Please tell us what is CoinBurp is all about. Sure. So uh, CoinBurp is a cryptocurrency trading platform. We're looking to bring cryptocurrency to the masses through popular culture, through education. Um, we feel there's not enough players in this space who focus uh, on retail customers specifically. There are a lot of cryptocurrency exchanges out there a lot of companies do white exchanges making it very easy for for a technical person to to spin up a, a crypto exchange but in reality it, it's not so friendly for for your everyday person who's looking to buy 100 pounds or 500 pounds worth of crypto so that's what we're looking to tackle thanks and yeah i already mentioned that uh, you are uh, providing your service in the united kingdom that uh, uk citizens can buy with uh, real cash uh, with British pounds, uh, different cryptocurrencies and sell, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. So uh, at the moment we offer GBP deposits via bank transfer. We credit them uh, instantly. It, it, we'll, I think we are the first in the UK to be able to credit uh, GBP instantly on it on any cryptocurrency platform. Uh, we're looking to launch euros and dollars very soon. So um, with, with that comes the, the expansion into other countries. Um, especially the EU market, so keep a uh, lookout for that. Um, cryptocurrencies, especially, we've, we've only launched with four at the minute, which is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Very, very soon, we're going to be launching EOS, and uh, within the coming months, probably Q4 of this year, we're looking to bring on um, a number of different cryptocurrencies in, into the space, into our into our platform. I see. Uh, and can you tell us when you started uh, CoinBorp company and why actually you decided to start it? Yeah, so just to give you a quick bit of background about myself, so I've been in, a, in the crypto space for about five years now. Um, I started a company called BitBroker, which specializes in Bitcoin broker um, on third-party platforms in the uh, we we dominate the market really uh, on any given day we can um, on, on a website like local bitcoins which is the most popular uh, third party platform in, in in the UK we can uh, we can account for maybe 20% of the total volume um, what we discovered yes yeah, uh, we, we, we we pretty uh, I mean we didn't start with much but we ramped up the the volumes and the and the trading quite quite significantly um, obviously with, with a third party platform I don't own it I don't have control of it a lot of the processes aren't that slick um, I personally feel local bitcoins have made a, a ton of money and they've sort of sat back on the, on their laurels and haven't really pushed to improve the website too much so um, but they do a great job I mean I'm, I'm very thankful for what they've done but we can do a lot better so we decided to launch CoinBurp with the specific aim to target these same customers that, that we target on, on local bitcoins um, I, I hate to think how many customers fell fell off the bandwagon on on route to try and purchase this crypto but this is a, a problem that we're looking to tackle i see and you say that you joined a uh, blockchain crypto market nearly five years ago why you decided to join i mean like what is so passionate you have passion about this market why you like it? yeah so it, when it was about five years ago i read the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper on Bitcoin. I was I was amazed by the technology. There's um, obviously it came from the the financial crisis. It was on the back of it. Um, blockchain technology is, is really has the chance to revolutionise the world. I, I personally think anyway. Um, to tie that in with what we're trying to do, I think the first step to try and educate users um, in in blockchain technology is to allow them to to feel crypto, to be able to trade it, to be able to research it. Um, a lot of people, as I'm sure will agree, will uh, if you're invested in a cryptocurrency or, or you have any money, uh, a bit of skin in the game, you're, you're more inclined to, to do your research and do a bit more reading. So we personally feel if we can give someone, even if it's £10, it doesn't have to be much, um, but if they've got a bit of skin in the game, they're, they're more inclined to, to look around um, and research um, not, just, not just crypto, but blockchain technology itself. Um, and that, that's the route we're looking to take. 
I see. And uh, if to compare you to another competitors in the market, because I, I bet there are many of them, uh, especially right now big uh, exchanges like Binance, they want to come with solutions for fiat to cryptos. Uh, in your opinion, what advantages your company uh, has comparing to another competitors? Yeah, so um, we at the moment we don't like to compare ourselves to the exchange at the minute. They do a great job. But I, I personally feel they're more uh, marketed towards your experienced investor, someone who understands order books and limit orders, market orders, fill and kill. The, I mean, this, this terminology is completely alien to the majority of people. It was alien to me five years ago when I started. I, I don't have a background in uh, in finance or ever traded uh, stocks and shares or, or done anything like that. So um, for me to come across that was very daunting. Um, I would personally like to compare ourselves to, to Coinbase. So Coinbase do, do a great job in, in being extremely uh, user-friendly. The issue in the UK is they've recently um, completely uh, banned faster payments. So we use, um, for some of the cost, some of your guys who may not know out there, we, we use a payment system in the UK called Faster Payments. What that means is that GBP can settle instantly at the other side. Uh, so a customer sends us GBP, we, it settles immediately, and we can credit accounts instantly. What happened with Coinbase was they, um, for whatever reason, they started putting a hold on this. So it started off with two days hold. You send money, you can't withdraw it for two days. Turn into five days, turn into ten days. And then within a couple of weeks, uh, two weeks ago, I think it was, they put a complete ban on faster payments. So if you are a UK customer and you're looking to deposit money on, on Coinbase, for example, you're going to need to pay fees of maybe four or five percent if you're doing it via a uh, card you can pay via um maybe swift or or, or some backs which is about 20 pounds charge just to send the money it doesn't credit instantly um so what we do we allow instant deposits absolutely free if it's 100 pounds or more um you can trade it immediately and you can withdraw it immediately as well wow Sounds amazing. And uh, my last question maybe will be, okay, uh, you jumped to this business five years ago. In your opinion, where will be your company Coin Borp in five years? Well, ultimately, we'd like to be a, a bank. There's, there's quite a few steps along the journey. Um, uh, we've done a five-year plan. We're going to be kicking off fundraising in a couple of months um but ultimately we want we want to be a, a crypto friendly bank but what that means for me is to lay the foundations first so that means uh additional cryptocurrencies additional uh, f uh fiat with gbp euro usd we're also going to be able to settle in other currencies as well maybe up to 14 um with our banking provider which we're just finishing off the the final stages with um along that route that means a lot of uh prepaid card functionality so the, the ability to, to spend directly from uh, Coinbuck wallets on your phone, on, on, a, on a contactless devices. Um, and then in the, in the three years, four years time, we want to be able to, to offer a banking solution where people internationally will be able to spend directly out of banks. Um, uh, to tie that in as well, we're, we're very excited about secured loans to be able, the ability to be able to put down crypto as collateral and loan against it is, is, a, is a, what a lot of our customers are actually speaking to us about and they, they want that uh, functionality so it's something we're looking to bring. I see. Yeah, it sounds a good plan for me for five years. So, <laughs> yeah. So thanks, Peter, for your answers. And before we finish, how about that we will start a small challenge with our subscribers that when the video will be live, they will ask interesting questions below this video and uh, you will select in a couple of weeks the best question uh, and the winner will get $100 in Bitcoin or in Ethereum from uh, you. Is it okay? That's amazing. I will, uh, I'll be definitely watching for the video to go up and have a look at the comments. So yeah, please leave comments. I'll, I will personally be keeping an eye on it. I'll pick one out and, and give them the money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So again, uh, the rules are simple. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Start asking interesting questions below this video and in a couple of weeks Peter Wood will select a winner who will get $100 in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Meanwhile, thanks again for coming to our show and wishing you good luck with your roadmap that you will reach your goals, your uh, target in five years what you planned.